Hi everyone, welcome back to C programming tutorial series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about writing a C program to find a specific item in an array by using binary search technique. So before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you guys have got some useful and valuable information from this video, then click on like button, share it with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Now let us first discuss what is a binary search. So binary search is one of the searching technique which works on the principle of divide and conquer approach. What is divide and conquer? A divide and conquer is a problem solving methodology which says when you have a large problem and if you find that problem difficult to solve then just divide that problem into two sub problems and if you still feel that those sub problems are still difficult to solve then further divide those sub problems into even smaller problems and you just need to keep on doing the same thing until you find that now it becomes easier for you to make the solution for that problem. So this is what a divide and conquer approach and binary search also works on the same principle. So what will happen in binary search is you will be given a list or an array of items and you first need to divide that array into two parts by finding out the middle element. Then to find the key item there can be three cases. First case is the item which you are searching might be present at the middle location of an array. If the item which you are searching is found at the middle location then you just need to suppose this is your middle location item. If you find that the item which you are searching is present at the middle location then you need to press you need to write the message as so and so item found at so and so location. Then second case is the item which you are searching it might be present on the left side of the middle element and the third case is the item which you are searching it might be present on the right side of the middle element. Then how you decide whether the item which you are searching is present on the left or at the right side of the middle element you need to make a comparison. So how the comparison needs to be made. Here you need to check the key item with the middle element. If the key item is lesser than the middle element then you need to completely discard the right side of the array and you just need to start searching the key item on the left side of the array. And third case, if the item which you are searching is greater than the middle element then you just need to discard the left part of the array and you just need to start performing the same binary search approach on the right side of the array. So for this reason items present inside your array should be in the sorted form. So this is how uh, a binary search algorithm works. Okay. So now here you can see I have written down the output. So with the help of this output we will just try to find out how many variables are required. So when the program gets executed it will ask user to enter the size of the array. Then user will enter 6. Now I need to store this inside an integer variable n. Okay. That means I need to create one variable n of type integer. Then it will ask you to enter the 6 items. These items will get stored inside the array. That means I need to create an array also of type integer of size 10. Then I want an i variable also. Okay. So to perform this binary search, we need to set the initial location of the array to low and last location of the array to high. That means low will be pointing to the lowest index of this array and high will be pointing to the highest index of the array. So we need to create one more or two more variables of type integer low equals to 0 and high equals to n minus 1, 6 minus 1 which is 5 which is our highest index. Then one more variable we require int flag equals to 0. Okay, so first we will set the flag value to false. Okay, whenever we found an item, searching item, then we will set the flag value to 1. That means uh, now we have successfully found the item at that point we will set the flag to true. Uh, so for that reason, first we need to initialize the flag to 0. Uh, suppose if we did not find the item which we are looking for in the array, then the flag value will never become 1. It will be false or 0 as it is then uh, at, at the end it will become easier for us to check 
the value of flag whether the value of flag is 0 or 1 based on that value we will be displaying the appropriate output to the message whether the element found or not found in the array and then uh, we want one more variable uh, mid because to perform this binary search algorithm we are initially dividing this entire array into two parts we are finding out the middle location so to have the middle location we need to create one more variable of type integer mid okay uh, now so first you need to start this algorithm with while loop let me write here only while low is less than or equals to high that means i have more than one item present inside the array then that means i need to that means i need to keep on performing this process of binary search until and unless i have one or more than one item present inside the array that is what the meaning of this file then if we have sufficient items present inside the array then what we need to do first we need to divide that entire array into two parts by finding out the middle location that is what uh, I am trying to do here mid equals to low plus high divided by 2. So how we will find the middle location of this array just by adding the indexes of low and high then dividing it by 2 then we will get the middle location low is 0 high is 5 so 5 by 2 will get 2.5 so we will get 3 as the output so this 3 index 3 item will now become our middle element so uh, now we need to check if the item which we are searching or this 50 is equals to middle element this is our first comparison now we have found out the middle element we need to check whether the key is equals to equals to array of mid mid is 3 and array of 3 is this 40 okay and we have entered key value as 50 if 50 is equals to equals to 40 if this becomes successful if this gets satisfied then we will set the flag equals to 1 and then we will just break suppose let us assume that the item at the middle location is 50 which we are searching if this happens then we will just set the flag value to 1 and we will just break that means we are setting the flag value to 1 because we have decided that we have found the item and there is no need further to search for that item either on the left or on the right side of the array but this will not be the case every time the item which you are searching it might or might not be present at the middle of the array it may be present either on the left or right side of the array so you need to set those two conditions also and those two conditions will be set on the else if part if key else if key is less than array of mid that means the item which i am searching is less than 40 then what i need to do i need to start performing the entire process of binary search from the first index to this index okay now the first index is marked as l and i need to change this index okay so mid value i know and mid minus 1 will become this location mid minus 1 i need to perform the binary search from low to mid minus 1 that is from this this to this place uh, low will be as it is i just need to change the high high equals to mid minus 1 Okay, I hope you guys have understood. What if the item which I am searching is present on the right side of the array? So, for that I need to put the condition in else low equals to mid plus 1. Okay, so for the third for the third case I do not have to write the condition because if this did not get happened then obviously the item might be present on the right side of the middle element. So, in that case I just need to change the low. So, now mid plus 1 will become the low. Low equals to mid plus 1 and high will be as it is I need to perform the binary search operation from this place to this place okay low equals to mid plus 1 then I will close the while okay uh, so initially we had set the flag value as 1 okay whenever we found the item the flag value will get set to 1 so based on that we will check at the end if flag is equals to equals to 1 that means we have found the item then we will print the message as 
print element found else print element not found okay so this is what the complete logic of uh, uh, finding a specific item in an array using the binary search okay so now i hope you guys have understood how binary search works so we'll apply this logic to write a c program okay then i need to declare the variables yes these many variables are required and i must display this message enter the size of array then i need to read that input percent n okay next i need to allow the user to enter these six numbers n for i equals to 0 i is less than n i plus plus i bracket closed print f enter the key semicolon scan f d ampersand yes here i have not taken key also key key then while low is less than high less than or equals to high then mid is equals to low plus high by 2 then if key is equals to equals to array of mid then i will set the flag to 1 and break break okay else if else if this condition key less than array of mid then i need to set the high high equals to mid minus 1 else low equals to mid plus 1 then we will close this while and then finally we need to set this condition if flag is equals to equals to 1 then print print element percent d found at position percent d i want to display the key as well as the position along with the message so percent d is our key element which we are searching key and then position is mid mid plus 1 else colon and then at the end return 0 and semicolon okay so this is everything about uh, the complete explanation and logic for binary search program so that's the end of this video i hope you guys like this video and if you guys have got some useful and valuable information from this video then click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section and thanks for watching